So the next item is the F key with latching relay. And again, what this is for is that you may have a request that you don't want the air handling equipment to shut to start back up after the fire alarm system has been reset. A manual button push, once everything has been checked out, to allow those to start is what we're talking about here. So very quickly, what we're going to do is we're going to identify the monitoring devices that will shut down the fans, any alarms, specific alarms, whatever it happens to be. We'll also identify and label up items to control the fan shutdown. We'll also we'll move on from there, if, you know, the addressable relay, it could be, it could be an onboard panel relay, which is what we're using here. There are daughter cards that do those things. Sometimes it de it's determined by the, the, the safety circuit, if you will, and what the control voltage is that's running those. And then we'll have to do is set up a latching pattern in order to latch that, ask the device to latch on alarm. And then we'll tag that pattern with the information. We'll take that information and we'll set up an output group and use that pattern so that we can activate something. Finally, once we do that, when the relays are going to be shut down, we can't upload to the fire panel until we give it the ability to release. And by that we mean is we set up an F button. Now it doesn't have to be one of the F1, F2, F3 buttons could be just a simple monitor point. In some places, there is a specific Medico key with a, with a number on it that they use that they have to turn the switch on in order to do the reset that's specifically given. And in order to do this, we'd like to do is have a LED that is, is on or you know, doing some sort of a blink or whatever it happens to be so that we know that the fans are not running. And then what we'll do is we'll save that program and then upload that into the fire panel. So very quickly, we'll flip over to the next page. We'll identify the devices. So in this case, to make something very easy, we can do either any alarm or specific alarms. So in this case, it's any alarm in the building is going to shut down the air handlers and latch the air handlers off. Okay, so we'll do any alarm. So what we'll do is we'll identify and label the item to shut down the alarm. In this case, I said it could be an SLC device. It could be an onboard relay. Uh, it could be a daughter card on the system. In our case, it's going to be the latching fan that you saw earlier. So we'll go back over to our configuration tool. And on the configuration tool, we'll come down to, we have latch fan shutdown. I already gave it a label, so there it is there. And that's the device. Next thing we'll do is we'll flip back over here. We found our device, we're gonna to have to create a pattern, a pattern. It's not just going to activate an alarm. That pattern is going to activate on alarm and when it activates, it's going to latch. And the only thing that releases it will be a specific command to release the latch devices. So the signal pattern icon is the speaker that looks like it's making noise. So we'll click on that. We're gonna select the pattern number. In this case, I'm gonna use number 10. We're gonna give it a label. And then what we're going to do is, is put the tag mark on it for latching the faces, okay? We'll flip over really quickly here to our config tool. Speaker that looks like it's making noise. Here's our latch fan. I already gave it a label. What we need to do is put a check mark in the latch phases. We don't need to do anything else here. It takes care of that part of it. All right, we'll flip back over again. And there's our, our latching fans. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up an output group for that latch fans. So this we're gonna do is number 20 and it's any alarm. Now we saw specific devices, we saw zonal patterns, but there's also general events in the system. And a general event could be any alarm, any supervisory, any trouble, any da da da, things like that. In this case, it's very simple, it's very easy to do, any alarm. So what we'll do is we'll flip over to that and add that into our system. Choose and add the output group. Again, by using the speaker with the two blue arrows, we'll label the group appropriately, we'll write the group equation, and then we'll tag the appropriate signal pattern. The important thing is to get the right signal pattern working for you. Let's quickly flip over to it. Here it is here. Look at the speaker with the two blue arrows. I'm gonna right click in the big area again at an output group number 20 this time. Number 20, fan latch. Give it a label. In this case, we can use a general event. I refer to it as the purple man. Click on that in general event and it gives you options, any alarm, any water flow, any two devices, different things that you have the options are in here. In this case, we'll use any alarm. Important thing we said was the signal pattern. 
click on the signal pattern. The reason we gave it a label, it makes it easy to find. Number 10 is latching fan shutdown, and then say okay. All right, as soon as we've done that, if I tried to upload to the fire panel right now, it's not going to let me because there is no release of that. Okay, so now what we'll have to do is make that up. So the next thing we'll do is we'll flip back over to our PowerPoint. Well, didn't want to flip that time. So there's our PowerPoint. We got the fan latch. We apply the output group to the relay. So we're going to have to find that group number 20. Go to REL. It's not REL1. I think it's REL8 or something. I'll go find it over there and we'll hook that up. There we go. Come over to our onboards. And it's REL number eight. So that's the one we're going to use is the shutdown. So we wrote number 20, right? So again, we can right click in the big area here, or we can just simply come to the lower corner number there, but we also hit the down arrow and there's the fan latch that we've, that we've programmed. And that one is taken care of. Okay, so now we have the, we have the output group tied and making a worker work. Next thing we said that we needed it to do is we need to select an F button to release that. So we're gonna choose the middle button and on that, we're going to give it an appropriate label. Once we give it an appropriate label, label we're going to alter it. The input action is that it's going to be used to reset the latch to outputs. So very quickly, I'll flick back over here. We'll come back over to our onboard user interface. There it is there. Hit the magnifier. We're going to use the second one down. I'm going to come down here and call this fan reset. Yes, close enough. Input action is not no alarm, but look down through here. Next to the last one, reset latched outputs. Okay, that's what that button does. So now the last thing we want to do with this is we're going to track an LED. Okay, so we took care of that. We're going to track an LED. Now what we're going to do is we're going to decide on an LED, and I'm going to take the one that's sort of right even with the silence button, and I'm going to make that one our LED. So we're going to label the LED appropriately. After that, we're going to track it from the primary action to follow the output group number 20 that we wrote. Then we're going to choose the LED state and how you want it to work. And I'm going to select it for the flash at half second intervals. So I come back over here. There's my LED there. It is one of the things I can do is copy this right there because this is, gives us the ability to do that. Come to the LED over here and paste it in right there. There's our label. I say it went in there, but I'm not sure that it did. And then what we want to do is we want to track an output group, which was number 20, All right? Number 20, put that information in there and we'll choose what we want the LED to do. And we said half second pulses. Okay, so now we've got that information there. We'll save this and we'll flip back over again. So we took care of all of that. Now we need to do is just save the program and upload to the fire panel. 